We went about 90 minutes south from Manila to the province of Batangas, staying a few days in the largest city, Lipa. Our hotel was just off the main road, but isolated and quiet. Hotel 1925 was built in a modern Spanish colonial style with beautiful decor. Family run, it's named after the patriarch's birth year. Our room was spacious and gorgeous, with a wonderful coffee table book about Lipa, full of fantastic historical information, maps, and photos. Just a short walk away, SM City Lipa is a decent sized mall. And the adjacent transport terminal is fantastic. Whether you want a tricycle, a jeepney, a shared van, or a full size bus, there are many options for Manila, around Greater Lipa, and to a lesser extent regionally, with plenty of food available for the road. Lipa is known for the lomi noodle dish. Originally Hokkien Lormi braised egg noodles found throughout Southeast Asia, the Lipa version exploded in popularity from its creation in the 1960s. One nearby Lomi house has a great story behind it. Starting from a small shack in the late 2000s, it's now a successful business. On a side note, Eat, Pray, Love, Lipa is a mayoral program from December of 2022. In the center of town, the Catedral de San Sebastián is the most prominent building in Lipa. There has been a church in Lipa since 1605, and Lipa was chosen as the center of a new archdiocese in 1910. But the old building was heavily damaged in the Japanese occupation and World War II. The rebuilt and expanded Neo-Renaissance building was completed in 1957. Inside, there are several icons that are particular to the Philippines. The Santo Niño, patron saint of the Philippines, a copy of the Black Nazarene statue from Benondo, Manila, and Saint Padre Pio, venerated in Batangas by a shrine and pilgrimage site in nearby Santo Tomas. On the outside, the Porta Santa was blessed in 2021, the 500th year of Catholicism in the Philippines. And a plaque commemorates one of the last decisive battles in the Philippine War for Independence against Spain. Just down from the cathedral, Casa Segunda is the 19th century ancestral heritage home of a prominent Lipa couple. The head of the Lipa municipal government from a wealthy coffee planting family gifted the house to his daughter for her wedding. Doña Segunda Solis Catigbac was the first love of a young Jose Rizal, the Filipino national hero. But she was already betrothed to Don Manuel Mitra de San Miguel Luz. The couple had nine children and the house is still in the family. Two of Doña Segunda's great-granddaughters maintain and manage the house. The second floor, with its breezy, open Spanish colonial design and capis shell windows originally had an unobstructed view of the cathedral. While the house has definitely seen better days, it's a wonderful museum that captures the early 20th century life of an elite Lipa family. Fortunately, the house was one of the few that were mostly spared by the World War II bombing of Lipa. 90% of it is original including the gorgeous floor tiles and 100% Philippine mahogany staircase. South of town, two churches figure prominently in the modern lore of Lipa and the archdiocese. Rather than walk this time, we decided to take a trike. Founded in 1946, the Carmelite Church and Monastery was the site of a series of reported apparitions in 1948. Mary, Mother of Jesus, appeared to Sister Teresita Castillo in the monastery's garden, calling herself Mediatrix of All Grace. 
The case was rejected in 1951 by the heads of the Philippine Church and again by the Vatican. Papers related to the case are still sealed in the Vatican archives. In 2008, 57 years later, the local bishop built a shrine and a new church just south of Mount Carmel and reopened the case with the support of the Archbishop of Lipa. The Vatican issued its final ruling in 2016 that the apparitions were not worthy of belief, but with a rare, possibly unique exception in the history of the church, that local veneration is still permitted. Catholic controversies aside, the Mary Mediatrix Church is beautifully open and airy, the sound of songbirds echoing throughout the nave. The Pa is about a thousand feet above sea level, making it noticeably cooler than down in Manila. The nearby eastern mountains shelter it from most storms, making it one of the best places to live in the Philippines. About 30 minutes drive west, a steep cliff overlooks Taal Lake. Formed by massive volcanic eruptions between 140,000 to 5,000 years ago. In the middle of the lake, the second most active volcano in the country lies quiet most of the time. Until January of 2020, you could take a boat out and hike to the peak of Volcano Island. But right before the COVID-19 pandemic, the volcano erupted, spewing ash all over Batangas and north to Manila and beyond. The island is still off limits due to continued seismic activity.